so hi everybody, it's Total American Girl, and this is basically an opinion video and a ca uh, like a little catalog thing of the, what is this, this is September 2012. So yeah, I'm just going to get started and show you all my opinions and all that stuff. So this is a video contest, if you want to enter that, it's pretty cool. Um, and here is the new historical doll, Caroline Abbott from 1812. She is so, so pretty. Um, her eyes are really, really pretty. I don't think I'm going to be getting her, though, just because, um, I have Laney, so they're pretty similar. So then we've got, um, what is this? This is Caroline's travel outfit. And basically, this is three different outfits. And another YouTuber, I don't know her username, so that this dress looks like something you can make and she's right. Then we have her boat, which is kind of silly. If it can't float, it's kind of weird. Here's her awesome winter coat. I love that. And if you see these highlighted things, it's things that I want. I just highlight what I like. So then we have more. This looks like a lot like Felicity's. And yeah, I like her nightgown though. That's pretty. Oh, sorry, we skipped a page. It's like, where's her parlor? And here's her parlor. It's so cool. But I don't think I'm willing to pay $300 for doll furniture. I mean, I could buy myself something really cool for $300. So now I'm just going to slowly skim through the historicals in case anybody's interested because there isn't really anything new for them. But I'm just going to give you an at a glance. can already tell I love Rebecca's collection with all the highlighted stuff there. And nobody noticed this. They changed the bed name. It used to be like Cecile's bed and bedding. Now it's the half candy bed. So now it can be Marie Grace's or Cecile's like officially. And I do have a feeling that they're going to be retiring Kaya in AG Snapshots video. Um, where they replaced Caroline's collection with Kaya's. That makes sense. And um, when was the last time they had two whole pages for Kaya? Uh, yeah, that's kind of odd. Akai is really historically accurate, so her stuff is pretty cute. Uh, some more dolls. And then here's McKenna. I'm sure you guys have all seen her. She's got really colorful stuff, but it's not really my taste. Kind of hoping that next year they have, like, an actor for a doll or somebody who likes music. Because they're always sports, you know. So then we have the My American Girls. We'll just give you a little quick overview of them. Now here are the holiday outfits. Yay! I don't remember them coming out this early last year, but yay, they're out. So that way you can buy them now. So um, they have the classic red one, which is really cute. I love this little zigzag pattern, how it's nice and textured. I think that's very cute. And then they branched out from usually doing just one, like, red one. They have this pretty purple one. What is this called? Purple party outfit. Um, it's very cute. I love this hairband. It's adorable. The only um, weird thing is, these are the holiday accessories for this year. And you get a jacket that looks pretty easy to make. A plastic nutcracker. Yeah, I don't even think it's real wood. Two pieces of paper. And a watch. Like, that's a little bit weird and dumb. Now here's this beautiful winter scene. I love this. So they have, I think that now American Girls trends like start like houses for them since so many people build houses for their dolls. You've got the winter house. I don't know how you'd pronounce that. And I think it's kind of silly that the doll cannot stand up in it and the doll cannot lie down in it. And there's only room for one doll. So that's three really dumb things that American Girl could easily fix. And it would be kind of, I don't know how they're going to advertise this in the summer. Like, seriously, think about it. And I'm glad they have another snowboarding outfit, but it's kind of, um, boring colors. They have this, um, softest snow outfit, which you would easily get lost in in a snowstorm. Then they have this two-month ice skating outfit for $48. That thing, to me, looks like a Michael's craft. It looks like really cheap fabric that I could easily buy at Michael's. And then it looks like somebody glued sequins on it like seriously that looks so bad and they have this which another youtuber said looked like an our generation outfit and she's right like what in the world was that pink hat doing there and that sweater is so weird i would never wear that and like those shoes are really out of style 
Then they have the adorable sugar and spice baking set, but not an adorable price. Uh, I think it's really cute. I love, like, the little Santa hat and, like, the apron, how it's kind of fuzzy, and all the little treats, but I don't think it's worth $58, but I do like it. Just some more older outfits, and the these are so cute. I love these. These are the reindeer pajamas. I love these so much. They look like something I would have worn. And I was like five, they're adorable. And then this, I think this is pretty fair. This is um, the Dreamy Nightstand set. And I like it because it's wood. And it comes with so many different things that you don't have to buy separately. And I think it's a pretty fair price. Maybe it could have just been like $50, but yeah. And did you guys know that the um, service dog set came with a dog? I didn't know that. So now I kind of want that because I love the dog treats. Oh, here's the um, Pretty in Pink coat set. I love this. It's so awesome and adorable and cute. I love the res reversed colors. So now I'm just going to give you a quick at a glance look at all the rest of the outfits since there's nothing new. Oh, and I have a feeling that this is this outfit's going to be retired this winter, so if you like it, get it, because usually they only have a skiing outfit or a snowboarding outfit, not both. Dress like your doll, um, little extras, and mini Caroline. Nobody's pointing out this. There's a mini Caroline, yay! Then they totally tune themselves out with this. I mean, that is exactly like it, because they reverse the bow. That's exactly like the one from My American Girls. And biddies, in case anybody's interested. And look, they're only $5, so I would get those if you like these DVDs, because they're only 5 bucks. And baby babies. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And yeah, comment down below what your favorite outfit that American Girl released is. And so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys.